OpenShot Video Editor Tutorial for Beginners How to use OpenShot Video Editor in 2021 So firstly guys, I want you to come on to google.com and once you come on to google.com I want you to type in over here OpenShot and then type in download now once you do this simply click on the first link and once you click on that simply from over here click on this download button and your download is gonna start now after that once you have open shot downloaded on your computer you are gonna see this dashboard in front of you now over here on the left side you will be able to view all the all of the media that is present in your particular project so like for example all the images all the videos and stuff and everything then at the bottom you have your timeline now you will have multiple tracks over here. Each track is going to do a specific thing. So like for example, the first track can be a video. The second track can be a voiceover. And then below that, you can add like, you know, sound effects, music and stuff. So like definitely you can do a lot of things. Now from over here on the top right side, you will be able to see your video or like whatever you have put over here in your timeline actively over here. So now let's drag and drop a couple of files in here. So I'm going to simply like, you know, drag and drop a couple of files over here, basically old videos of this particular channel that you are watching this video on. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to basically like drag and drop this video. Now, once I drag and drop this video, now I'm going to basically drag and drop this video over here so once i have dragged and dropped the video over here if i were to hit on play this video is now playing and i can essentially just like you know move this playhead around and i will be able to see the whole video so like that is how easy it is to like actually like drag and drop the video so once you have your basic video in here now begins the fun part so over here you can see these tools so i'm gonna stop the video and then i want you to pay attention to to these tools so over here you can add this plus button to add a track to like basically add multiple more layers if you want like you know more than the five layers that they give you you can add more layers then you can also like you know cut you can also fast forward you can also back up so i'm gonna choose the cut tool which is also called the razor tool and i can place a cut anywhere on the video so i'm gonna place a cut in the start and once i do that i'm gonna uncheck the cut icon and now i have essentially two different videos so i can actually like you know just like layer them on top of each other and if i were to like you know play they would essentially intersect with each other or I can add transitions in between them as well. So when you have two clips which have a cut between them, click on transitions and then you have a world of transitions present. So for example, we have like, you know, these transitions, these ones, so like they have names at the bottom. So make sure to like, you know, just like pick anyone that you like. And then I want you to drag it and drop it in the middle of the videos. So that is gonna essentially add a transition in between your clips. So I'm gonna play the video now. And we'll see how it looks so like it looks nice and it is a bit slow for my taste so I'm gonna like speed it up by simply dragging it from the corners and then that is gonna essentially just like you know speed it up so I'm gonna play it again now and if I were to play it again I will be able to see the transitions much quicker now so like that's done now I can even like you know add more transitions in between the clips as well so like for example I can add it over here too again the potential is there and you guys can definitely like you know do this and take full advantage now if i were to like you know divide the video up into different tracks and then place the transitions on one track i will see something like this so like this is essentially how transitions are meant to be used properly but right now we are simply gonna like you know use these like this so like that is how you can add transitions in open shot now let's focus on adding effects. So if I were to come on effects over here, you can basically see all the different effects that they offer. So they give you the blur options, they give you the captioning options, they give you the color shift options, the crop options as well, and also the compressor and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna basically use the crop effect. I'm gonna double click on it, or I'm simply gonna drag it and drop it on the video. Now firstly, I select the video and then I double click on the effect. So once I've done that, I can essentially like, you know, now just simply click on this C button 
and I will be able to modify my effect from over here on the screen. So like if I were to like, you know, move this around these borders over here, well, then I will be able to like, you know, crop my video, uh, like basically resize it, do whatever I want with my video essentially. So like that is an option that you guys can like fully avail and you can like simply crop your videos as well. So now once you've done that, now let's say you have made a video from your phone and the camera is shaking well to eliminate that you can simply use this effect called stabilizer and it will stabilize your video like it was coming out of a gimbal then you have like cool features like compressor expander now these are really helpful if your audio is like very very noisy and stuff like this is going to fix that and then you have the chroma key this is going to replace the green screening and everything and then you have the captions so i'm going to like simply drag and drop the captions over here to see if they work or not so i'm gonna right click and i'm gonna see detailed view so now if i were to like you know move it around well now i will be able to like you know simply add captions so now i can simply add captions from over here so i can type in over here hi so once i type in hi or who whatever you want to well then you will be able to see that very text appear on screen somewhere so like i'm gonna simply check that out and then we will see how it looks so like that is basically how you can add captions over here as well so like very very simple and nothing too crazy honestly speaking so like for example over here you can see the text written so like if i were to change it uh to like you know something else well then this text is gonna go away then i can like you know simply type in anything i want to and it is gonna appear on screen as you guys can see right now in front of the screen so then i can also like you know go to the properties and i can change the color and everything as well so i'm gonna change the color to black for these captions and then i'm gonna basically see how they look yeah so like over here here they are i'm gonna remove the caption text and then i'm gonna type in over here hi guys how are you so like this is gonna appear for the first 23 seconds so i'm gonna simply do that i'm gonna essentially like you know just place it somewhere where it looks super nice so i'm gonna do this now and then we will be able to like you know see and then we will be able to like essentially just move it around and stuff and then similarly for the crop effect you can essentially modify it from the left side you can simply like increase the amounts on the left like for example the top size then you have the bottom size and everything and that is gonna essentially just add like you know black bars on the top or at the bottom so i'm gonna like just increase it slightly to see like how it looks and stuff so i'm gonna do that and then similarly for the top size i'm also gonna do that so that is going to like give me a very nice cinematic look on my videos i mean like this video isn't really the video that you would use a cinematic effect on but like just for the sake of teaching this is how it works then you can also like you know use the color shift effects you have the brightness and contrast then you even have the blur option so i'm gonna use that as well so once i drag and drop it now i can right click i can click on properties and then from the left side i can essentially like you know just modify the blur so i'm gonna decrease the horizontal radius so once i do that like i have almost eliminated it so now i'm gonna like essentially increase the sigma let's see what that does yeah so like that is essentially adding more blur overall i'm gonna decrease the vertical radius so like now if i were to like increase the iterations i will be able to see like you know more and more blur essentially and then some vertical radius some horizontal radius so yeah like you can definitely play around with it i'm gonna delete this for now because i don't really need this particular effect so i'm gonna like essentially just just take everything to zero for now yeah, so once i do that i will have my video back to normal so like that is basically all the basics and like now you know how to add effects transitions and project files like basically dragging and dropping then you can also add emojis as well so i'm gonna like essentially just select all and i'm gonna move this one track down and then from over here i can also add emojis as well so i can just simply drag and drop it and then i can increase or decrease the duration by simply dragging it from the sides and then simply moving it around by simply clicking on it on the screen and then simply decreasing the size from the side buttons and then essentially moving it back to somewhere where i would like it to be so like 
again very very simple nothing complicated and honestly anybody can do this like you know within like a few minutes of their time so like very very simple to get started with essentially so yeah like guys this was basically how you can get started with open shot now click on the top left once you are done with the video and click on save project as to save your project files and then click on export project and click on export video then from over here choose whichever quality you like i'm gonna choose hd 1080p and then after that i'm gonna basically choose the quality i can also change the format as well i, I would suggest leaving it at mp4 a.264 because this is the best format and yeah like just simply choose your destination your file name and you are done with uh, the whole video so then you can actually upload this video to anywhere that you like and this will be good to go so guys this was the video and if this video helped you out make sure to smash that like button subscribe until next time goodbye